To edit the footer, go back to your WordPress dashboard and go to Appearance Widgets. And here you can see there's three columns for the footer. Now you can adjust the amount of columns that the footer has in the theme options. So if you go down to the footer and here under theme options, open this in a new tab. You can select the number of columns that you want. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave this as three columns. And these are the three columns right here. And in the first column of the footer, let's first look let's check how the footer looks right now so we go to our website got all this stuff we're gonna replay we're gonna change this we're gonna fix that in a minute go down here that's how the footer looks right now you got three columns and they're just they've got like some some crap inside of them so let's add something nice in the first column we're gonna add recent blog posts so to add recent blog posts Take the Enfold News, Latest News button, or widget, whatever, and drag it here. And type in Recent Blog Posts. How many entries? Up to 10. Select the categories that you want to pull them from. Click Save. You go back to the footer. You refresh. Boom. There are the blog posts. In the middle, whoops, what did I click? In the middle section, I want to add a Facebook like box. So I'm going to do that. Where is it? It's hard to find. Um, press Control F in your browser and type in Facebook. Oh, there it is. Facebook like box. So I'm just going to click on that. Add it to the second column. There it is. Oh, the second column had latest news or something like that. Let's remove that. So we just want the Facebook like box. And you just want to write our Facebook, or just put Facebook, Facebook page. If you have a Facebook page, you probably do, you might not. So then just type in the link to your Facebook page right here. Click save, refresh. There's the Facebook like box. Here, I'm going to add some text with a picture. But before we do that, we need a plugin for that. So go to plugins, go to add new, and type in, let me zoom this in for you, type in black studio tiny mce. Nothing found, okay. Put a space between black studio and tiny mce. Search, let me zoom out. Well, I guess I got the name of the plugin wrong. Black Studio Tiny MC. What is it called? Okay, so if you can't find a plugin, here's a quick way to get the right plugin name. So type it in Google. Or uh, I'm just going to type in Tiny MCE WP plugin. And actually, here here's the one I want Black Studio. So I'm just trying to get the name of it because I'm I keep misspelling it. Oh, you gotta type tiny MCE together as one word. So just copy that. Where is the plugin search? Paste it in here. Click enter. And that's the plugin that I want. Black Studio Tiny MCE. Now what this plugin will allow us to do is I'm gonna show you in one second. It's gonna add a little uh, media box. Before we can't we couldn't add pictures to our text box. So if we go to widgets and we just add a text box to the widget. So column three, add it. You can type text in here, you can put a title, but there's no way to insert images. What this plugin did, I'm gonna delete delete this. What this plugin did is it added this little button right here, the visual editor. Just click dismiss right here. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to add it to the third column. Click on add widget. And there we go. You can put in a title. And now you have all these options right here. So you can style your text and everything much better. So you just, I'm just going to type some text in here. Like some, some text. I'm going to add some text in here. Copy. 
paste. I don't know why my paste button works so funny. Anyways, control V. That's too much text. Remove that text. And here I'm going to add a picture. So before we didn't have this button in the text editor, but in the visual editor that we just installed from the plugin, Black Studio Tiny MCE. Now it gives us an option to add an image. So I'm going to add a little small image in here. I like this one right here. I'm going to pick the size of it. Yeah, okay, so choose the 80 by 80. It's a nice small size. We don't need a big image in the footer. And see how it's a little bit aligned, not very nice? Click on the image and left align it. And now the text moves up. Now, I'm also going to add a link in here. So click here to read more. And I'm going to make this a link. So select it. Click on this link icon right here. And here you can pick a link that you want. So click on options. And here's a list of all your pages that you've made. Your blog, your blog posts, and your portfolio entries. So here I'm just going to link to, I don't know, the about page. So add link. I think I clicked something wrong. Let's try this again. About add link there we go now it's added click save click on the top here to minimize this thing go back to your website go to the footer refresh there we go there's the image there's some text and there's the link except we can't really see the link so what we got to do is we got to change the color of this link the way you change this link color is you got to go to theme options and I think it's under general styling. It's not under footer. Like I know it's not very intuitive. You would think like you go to footer and you change the footer link. No, it's under, I think it's under general styling right here. And there's a footer section. So you click on the footer. And then here you have font color for links, drop caps, and other elements. Now, right now it's gray, which we can't see. So I'm gonna make this white. Click save. Go refresh and now the link is clearly visible you can click on it it'll go to the about page you can click back now the last thing I don't like about this footer is this background I just want like a simple color I don't want this dashed or whatever these I don't want these lines here so I'm gonna go back to um, general styling footer and where's the background so we have a background color set but it's not getting picked up because we have this background image which creates those lines so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna pick no background image under background image so pick no background image go down click save there's actually two save buttons there's one on top one on the bottom so you can click whichever one you want go refresh and there we go now it's just a dark color without any lines looks much better also the bottom part right here you can edit by going to, I think it's under footer right here, maybe not. Uh, yeah, actually it is. Display the footer widget and socket. So a socket is that little bar on the bottom. So you can just say display only footer widget, no socket, save it. Click refresh. And you got none of that. But I kind of like the way it looks, so I'm just gonna leave it. And you can change your copyright text here, you can just Type your name, your name, copyright, whatever. I wonder if you can just cut and paste this icon. Let's see how that looks. So yeah, here we go. Your name, copyright, and then it has the info theme. Don't worry about this. 
nobody's gonna look at that nobody even scrolls down to like look at the small text at the bottom so don't even worry that it says that the theme name that you use to build your website if you're if you want to remove this it's easy to do actually but you got to get into a little bit of code we're not gonna worry about this for now if you really if this really pisses you off leave a comment and uh, I'll think of something all right so the footer is done 